prehistoric beasts. They all have one thing in common, their long-standing stories and discoveries that continue to captivate man's imagination. Where do these stories originate? Storytelling has always been a, a large part of Aboriginal culture. Their beliefs and their legends precede modern-day folklore and, and tales. These legends are often disputed between the believers and the non-believers. Whose story is right? Explore with us. Discover. Red Earth. Uncovered. Okay, here's a riddle, okay? What's got two thumbs and loves stories? This guy. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> two thumbs loves stories. <laughs> the Stony Nakoda believe that the little people live in and behind Mount Yamnuska. A lot of Stony people have walked behind there and each time it is reported that a sudden, powerful gust of wind begins to blow. The people who enter always turn back and leave. It's not that they fear the little people, but they fear if they enter the wind tunnel, they may disappear. A long time ago, two families went camping, and a little boy and a little girl went into the bush to pick berries. A while later, the boy came back, he came running back, and he said that the little people had taken the girl because they needed a princess. Families were distraught, and they searched and they searched the forest but they did not find the little girl. They brought a medicine man into the forest to help find the little girl. The medicine man conducted a ceremony to try and figure out what had happened. It was revealed to him that the little girl was very happy where she was. And her family did not need to worry about her or to try to find her. The medicine man confirmed that indeed the little people needed a princess, just as the little boy had said. The Stony Nakoda make offerings every day and ask the little princess to help them in everything they do. Which leads me to ask you, are you ready for your next assignment? What do you got for me?